Hello, 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 guys. I am back. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Danielle, and this is my channel, Down South with Danny. In case you don't know, I live down south in the heat, and I wear makeup all summer long down south in this heat. So, this is where you'll find all kind of cool stuff about makeup, the heat, the sun, eyeshadows, you know, new crochet looks all the time. You gotta keep you guessing. You never know which thing you're gonna get. Maybe a fro, maybe a crochet, maybe whatever. But today what you're gonna get is oh these empties guys do so many y'all it's so many <sighs> I don't even remember when last time I did empties like maybe sometime in the spring but we're here, we're back, we're on my couch, which is in my room. Um, now it's like a straight rug, some other things in the background. Whatever, this is my couch. We're just going to chill out for a minute and talk about this huge bag of empties so I can throw these out tonight in the dump for the trash can to get, for the trash guy to get in the morning. So, without further ado, let's get started. Off the top, we have Equate Fresh Wet Cleansing Towels. Okay, original clean wet cleansing towels, but they're comparable to Pond's original fresh wet cleansing towels. These were okay. They were really dry to the touch. I would repurchase. I just grabbed because I needed something at the moment. I really just used them for swatches. So they were alright. More wipes, simple cleansing wipes. It comes with 25. I think these are like four or five dollars a pack. You can always get a double pack at Ulta for like eight dollars. And then when they're buy one, get one half off is when I grab them. I use these to kind of like remove like the excess shadow that gets there or like um swatches. Got some body wash, guys. Quite a bit of body wash in here, actually. Several. So first up is Dr. Till's Body Wash with Pure Essence Salt Relief from Relax with Eucalyptus and Spearmint. This is what I love. It is so relaxing. It helps with muscle aches. I need to purchase a new bottle for this weekend because I'll be busy running around like a chicken. And your girl's body is going to be tired. So I need to be grabbing a new bottle of this ASAP. Love it. We'll be purchasing like I just said. Next up, Bliss Lemon and Sage Soap and Sales Body Wash is the staple here. If you're not new to my channel, you know I use this all the freaking time. Um, I do have like one bottle, I think, left from the stash I bought back in November. So that'll be the last one I'll probably buy. And I'll probably, I've just been experimenting and trying new body washes. But I will say, they're not as good as this. Next in the body wash category, how many body washes? Do you do? A lot of them. I'm washing my body like crazy. So this is the Method Coconut Rice Coconut Method Method Body Simply Nourish Body Wash is the name. But it has like the ingredients. That's what I was reading. It has like coconut rice, milk, shea butter. I didn't like this because it had like that fake coconut feel. It's like that. <laughs> I like that fake coconut smell to it. But I don't know if it was the rice milk that was that smell. But I didn't love that smell. And it was okay. I bought this on Amazon. I also have another one I'm working through, like a more citrus version of one. Um, I won't be repurchasing those. So, more things that clean your body. Natural Mother's Clean Free Refreshing Dry Shampoo. Instant results. Original. This is what I use. I use to like clean like the spaces in between my braids when I have crochet. And I really, really appreciate it. This is a huge bottle. The guy have another one already so I'm pointing to the top of my bookshelf by the way I have another one so I would repurchase I guess um brush cleaning or puff sponge detergent from Daiso order a three pack on Amazon for eight dollars it's okay I don't think it's better than my soap soap <coughs> I know there was people who don't like when I say that but it's the truth for me so I got some hand soap in here a couple of those from Bath and Body Works I have the sun wash citrus the cleansing, I really like this deep cleansing, it's real smooth. But I love the foaming, it's my best. And this sea is my favorite. And the Sea Island Cotton Gentle Foaming Hand Soap, I love the scent of this. It just reminds me of summer in the beach. Both of these do. Oh, more wipes. Handy, that new wipes. I'm wiping everything off. Neutrogena Makeup Remover, I always buy this in there, but I want to get one half off it all so I can use a coupon. Repurchasing for years. Pons, oh, these are pampers, sensitive baby wipes. I love these swatches. They're like two bucks. I probably will buy 
a bunch of these when they go on sale at Kroger's for like a dollar. You can use a coupon on top of that for 99 cents. So I probably got me then. I got a Shiseido cotton pack in here. Use that up. I got a Tarte lipstick, lip architect, and this is in Diva. It was a red. It's like a little bit left in here, but it's like it was smelling kind of funky, so I went ahead and throw that threw that out. It's like about kind of funky. I'll roll it down and just watch it for you though. It's a like very, very pretty red. I liked it, but it started smelling. And I didn't like the lipstick as much as I liked the lip liner. And the lip liner was my, like, was what I preferred. Because it really held the lipstick. But I like these. If this hadn't gone off, I've had this for like, I don't know, five years now. Four or five years. I've had them forever, like basically since right I got married. And I think it's just time to get rid of this. Moving on, we are moving on to a toner. This is the number seven radiance results. I would definitely buy this. This was very gentle, very hydrating to the skin. I like it. It was pretty cheap. I think like seven or eight dollars. And then you get 6.7 fluid ounces. It took me a good bit to use this up, but I feel like my skin was really loving this. So cheap and loving. Like it. I got some dried spray invisible. I don't know why this is in here. Maybe to say that I don't use this anymore because I now use um the native. I used to use the spray and it's dry as one. This was pretty good, but I feel like it didn't hold me fresh as long as this natural deodorant and native. This is the cucumber mint. Currently using the coconut vanilla. I really like these. <sighs> Some I don't like. Okay, don't come for me. I know. It's Morphe Continuous Mist. People love it. They swear about it. They say it's the best. Oh my God, it's taking over my life. I love it more than all nighter. Well, I don't. I don't know. So this made me greasy. It made me really greasy. It's supposed to set your face. It made me really greasy. It was so, oh wait a minute, I'm reading it. Fine mist sets liquid or powder with a radiant finish. <sighs> reading is fundamental, girls, boys. Reading is fundamental. I got this because everybody was saying how much it make their face look like skin. It was so great. Hype on YouTube and reading don't go together. Read the bottles, please. Oh no, I ain't want that. All right, got some lotion. Lemon and sage. Lemon and sage is a sin I just love, guys. I have it in candles. I have it in everything. This is the body butter. We'll definitely repurchase. Uh, we'll not repurchase. This is dermatological pre cleanse. It was really thin and lavendery, and you get um, honey, you gotta get a bit in here five ounces. But it's very expensive. It's like $30 a bottle. And it smells like lavender. And I want to say that I would have to use it for a little bit and then stop. Like I can only use it a couple days a week. Because if I use it like consistently every single day. I start to get some under the skin breakouts on the side of my face. Like where I break out at. And it was just. I think it was the lavender in here that was just too much for my girl. For your girl. Does that have lavender? I don't know. But it definitely has lavender in there. Because I can smell it. Deep in my nose, deep in my nose. <clears throat> That's a little faster. More native deodorant. This is the coconut vanilla. It's been a minute since I've used this stuff, guys. All right, we got some lotion. You see, I've like cut it open. <sighs> One of my favorites, shoe for Breeze. This is the Shea Body Cream from Bath Body Works. I already repurchased. I got some sheet masks in here. These are from BioBell. I don't like these because they tell you to wash your face after. Like you wash your face and then you put these on and you wipe these off. Rinse your face again. I don't like to rinse my face on the sheet mask. I want the sheet mask stuff to stay on my face, so I don't prefer these. I got, oh yeah, Curly Meringue from Miss Jessie's Curl Cream. I had my hair out for about three weeks, and I used the heck out of this. I probably got a few of these in there, actually. I don't know, but I used the heck out of them. Then I had a sample of the Pharmacy Green Clean. I love this, as you guys know. <coughs> Excuse me. Use up a powder from Becca. This is the Hydramint Set and Refresh. Y'all, it is so empty, like a couple of crumbs in there. But I would definitely repurchase a full size of this. They do have a golden one of these that I might consider getting. Um, I really, really like this, guys. Like it a lot. Ooh, more body stuff. This is the hmm, Hawaiian Black Lava Body Caviar with Charcoal. 
The brand is Jabonier Marinella. I don't know. Came in a fat fit fun box. Um, I wouldn't already purchase this. This was like a mess. It was black all over my shower. <sighs> it felt gritty and good on the skin, but washing this off my shower. No. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Next up, we got a broken brush. This comes in the whole lifetime. This is a Morphe brush. I loved her to death. I used her for probably five years and she finally died. Finally died. She did. May she rest in peace. Alright, I got a facial radiance pads from First Aid Beauty. Y'all know I love these. I have a large size over there on my little skincare stash. What else is in here? Oh, there's the handle. It was the E3. That was the brush. I got some mascara. The Clinique High Impact Mascara. I don't love. I always just keep getting these for free. I use these on the when they come on my house and I normally give it to them because I don't like it as much. And then this is the Super Fan by Smashbox. I really do like this one. I like the shape of this one a lot too. It's like slender and kind of like gets in there. I really like that wand on that as well as the formula. Got another mini Urban Decay All Nighter. I just keep busting through these. I keep sending them as free samples. I keep using them up. And then I have a Prada Candy little mini deluxe that came. Use that up. Another one of these Urban Decay, not Urban Decay, these Tarte Lip Architects. I used this one up completely. They're like, it's gone. Like, ain't nothing to roll up in now because it's, it's gone. This was in the shade Cutie Pie. Of course, it's a nude. So that's why it's gone, gone. Loved that. And let's see. Oh, more cleansing balms. The Good Molecules Cleansing Balm, Instant Cleansing Balm from um, Beautylish. I don't like the smell of this. It smells, um, I don't like olive oil, but not in a good way. Like your grandma in my house, that creamier grandma used to put on her face, but not in a good way. I don't like how this smells. I don't think my face like how it feels either. It clean. But the smell, I couldn't do it. I can't, I don't need it again. Alright, so another Clinique High Impact Mascara. This one I'm throwing out just because I was using it on um, my mother-in-law when I did her makeup for the last few months. So it's kind of old, so I'm just going to throw it out. And then this is the Pixie Rose Flash Balm. <sighs> How do I say this? You can use it as a treatment primer, a treatment primer, primer a treatment primer. Or um, you can use it as a mask. I liked it as a mask. As a primer, I didn't think it did a really good job. It made my skin supple and radiant after I washed it off. But like leaving it on, my face didn't like it. Alright, more things I love. The Benefit Boing Brightening Concealer in number 5. Finally finished it! And as you know, I have another one waiting in the drawer and back up. Yes, I do. These dark circles, girl, gotta girl, gotta stay, gotta stay on her dark circle game, okay? Currently, dark circle game is um, what am I using? Brush is falling. I'm using the YSL Touche Clots in Radiant Touch in number six. I think the shade is six. Maybe. Why does it have the shade number? But yeah, six is the shade to kind of keep that same color correction going. Next up, I finally finished the Fresh Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. I found that as I got to the bottom of this, my face stopped liking it. I think it just got used to it and it needed something else. So I moved on to the Belief Hungarian Water Essence. Um, but this was good when I first started using it. I felt like my skin had to get used to it. And then it worked well. But then at the end, like the last little tinge of it, my skin was like, we're over it. We're done. Move on. Move along, girl. Move along. Stop moving along. All right. More body stuff. We have, oh, this was so good. The Rituals Yogi Flow Indian Rose and Sweet Almond Oil Foaming Shower Gel Sensation. I travel with this to not have to have like a loose shower gel. Y'all, this was so good. It smelled good. It foamed up so good. It just, it's like Jergens, but better. Like your Jergens got more extensive and made a great body wash. Oh, it would be this. So good. Indian Rose is a rose I like. Oh, I do. Mm, I need to repurchase that. 
for sure. Ugh, more lip products. Got all kind of lip products. Let's just pull them out. Let's see what we got in here. We got one, two. What else in here? Two more lip products. We got the Minted Cosmetics Mauve Over. The color has changed and it's basically empty anyway. So I'm like, okay. Like I can see through the tube as I swirl. And then like the color is kind of separating. But I've had these a couple years and they're kind of like the texture has changed in this one. This is the only one though of the set that's changed and it's Mauve Over. But I use this the most. I don't have my car and my purse. The heat could have probably turned it so... It was good though. It was smooth. This is Tom Ford's lipstick in Monica. This is the ultra rich lip color in Monica. I wish Monica came in a full size. I probably purchased a mini of this. I dug all off in that to get that color. Cause I'm gonna show you. Let me get a little bit on my finger. Let me show you how perfect of a nude this is. Like it's sheer. It's beautiful. Y'all, this is a perfect nude for me. Tom Ford. Holla at your girl. Send me this for free because you weren't cheap. Monica was not cheap. I got addicted to her though and just kept using and kept using and kept using and then she was gone. She became my work lipstick and once I put some at work, I just, whatever I wear, no matter what I wear, I just put that color back on. I put that color on whenever I take, wear, like whatever my lipstick wears off and then I wear it for the rest of the day. It's kind of how that works. It's kind of how this Ofer lip gloss is becoming. It's become my work lip gloss, and so it's getting worn out pretty fast. Anyway, let's continue. I got the Origins Plant Scription Anti-Aging Power Serum. I love these little samples of this. I love to grab them when they're in little sets. I did buy the full size 1.7 ounce, the fluid ounce of it, and I'm gonna work my way through it. Which I month or so. It'll be empty sooner rather than later. I got eyeliner. This is the NYX, no, it's the Ico when Ico do. I do liquid liner. This is pretty good. This is waterproof. I will say sorry. And then the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. So this is a mini. This is a mini. You know I mean like It Cosmetics be having moments. I be trolling they owner like when you gonna spend the shades. I did that all last year. This little mascara though is so good. So 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 good. I have a large size that came as like a free gift with purchase as well. And I'm definitely gonna be using it up. So good. This Kevin Aquan, the curling mascara. This came in my Beautylish Lucky Box in December. And this shit is a disaster. Just a disaster. It's really liquid. It's really wet. Never dries out. Um, it's just a disaster. I used it as long as I could. Then, like, you see how it's like inking? It makes like an ink flow on this. Like, it's like ink. I don't want to put ink, like ballpoint pen ink, on my eyelashes. That's nasty. And it would like hurt my eyelashes and then I would try to get it off. It didn't come off. It was so bad, y'all. It was so bad. I just, I, and then it's expensive, so I wouldn't dare pay that for that. Alright, so we got another fragrance in here by Rosie Jane. And this is Angie. It's very floral. I didn't love it from the little set that I got from Sephora during the VIB sale. So it wouldn't be one that I would buy. So, Angie did make the cut. Of course, as always, we got a fresh lip caramel hydrating balm. And, yeah, this is in the lip caramel. This is the caramel version. <sighs> so good. Brown sugary delicious. I have been trying the peach one. I'm not as in love with the peach one as I am with this one because this one looks like my lips but better. The peach one kind of looks white on my lips until I like press it in further. Then it like fades in but it still doesn't feel as moisturizing as that one. Alright let's see what else is in here. Oh something really good y'all. This is so good. Okay. This is the Milani Stay Put Brow Etch. Like it's like a little I don't know if you can see. Like it's not the pointy one. It's like the one that's a triangle tip. And I just love how good this is. Like I just love it. It just pushes into the brows so easy. And you don't do anything else to your brows. Um, I already repurchased this. I bought it yesterday at Walmart. Because I need to have it. This is the Rimmel um, Brow This Way Brow Styling Gel. Um, it's getting kind of gunky. But I've had it for about open for about six months. So they can go. Alright, we got another MAC Fix Plus Fix Plus Coconut. It's a little mini baby. 
I love Face Plus. I will always love Face Plus. I will always have it. I have like a back spot because I love it. This, oh my god, y'all, this primer took me by storm. I've fallen so hard in love with this. I've been trying to figure out how to get this top off to get this little edge part for like this will this will be a whole nother day's worth of primer. But it won't come out with the pump. And I can't get this thing off. But if I figure out how to get this off, it's mine. I did repurchase another one. Um, I love this. This is good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Only a few more things, guys. We're almost done. Almost to the end. Another fragrance, Cool Cotton and Grapefruit from Clean Beauty. I have a lot of fragrance minis this, month, this last couple months. Then I have my Pharmacy Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mask. I love this. I have not repurchased it because I got one from TJ Maxx. It's supposed to be like a dupe. So I'm going to try it out. This heats up, warms the skin, really treats the face. I love it. So I'm definitely going to repurchase this again, probably in the winter as it cools up because this is great for winter skin. Maybe my skin is actually feeling like inflamed from being too dry. Alright. <clears throat> I'll let you know how the dupe goes. I'll let you know if the dupe is worth it. I will definitely do that. Something might not. No, I'm just scratching for no reason. Two things that you guys know I have loved, absolutely loved, for sure. For sure. The Marc Jacobs Coconut Invisible Undercover Primer. Wait, let's, let's get the name right. So little. Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. Mark, did we talk about this damn name? Okay, so whatever you do, Mark, get a better naming team. But this is bomb ass shit. I wore it all last summer. I have like used it up. It's gone. It's goodbye. How do I say goodbye? It's so good, y'all. Mm. Mm. If I didn't own a slew of primers right now, I would repurchase that instantly for the summer because it was so perfect. But this last thing, Mama Charlotte. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush, Airbrush, Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in number 3 Dark. This is my perfect finishing powder. I do have a few dupes of this. Um, the Morphe Flawless powder, Finish Powder I just put out this past, probably like six months ago. It's a pretty good dupe. Um, but nothing is like this. I need this back in my life. VIB still, I might grab two. For the fall, the so I'm not gonna lie. I might grab two. Yeah, I might grab two. So good. So good. So good. That's all I gotta say. Alright, guys. That empties out the empties bag. Oh, yeah, that's a little special to the pharmacy. Mask. But it is empty. Woo! It's over. It's finished. It's done. That is the empties in the last couple months of my life. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please stick around to the end. If you did and you made it here, throw us up a little sunshine emoji to say you made it in the summer with this sunshine eye. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. It's been fun. Kind of like sitting on my couch. Yeah. Bye.